everybody. Welcome again. Today I want to talk with you about the influence of the weather outside. What you see here is that we are living in a greenhouse. And don't think that the greenhouse protects you against everything. That's not true. The influence of outside is very big. What we have seen is that since the beginning in January that we planted the young plants, till now, in the 20th of May, we have only seen the last two weeks some influence of insects. The time before we found nothing. No white fly, no minor fly, no spider, no caterpillar, nothing. But what happens? Two weeks ago we got a very cold wind from the northeast. And here in Holland, when you get wind from the northeast, you know that the air humidity is very low. And that was also in that week. We got a lot of wind, a lot of sunshine, so inside the greenhouse it was really hot. But the windows go open and the air humidity go down. That was the moment that the spider mite take its chance. The spider mite is a very difficult product for tomatoes. Why? Because it's very difficult to destroy him. The only thing to destroy him is by a lot of water or by spraying something special for the spiders. The only insects who can eat the spider mite is the macrolophus. Macrolophus eat them, but he don't prefer them. He prefer the white fly, he prefer the caterpillar, he prefer the minor fly. But for the spider, it's also a very difficult product. So what I did is I spray here three plants with something special against the spider, the spider mite. So now they are dead, but I know I must do it again because otherwise they come back. So that's for me a very difficult thing. And what I want to tell you is that the influence of outside is very important. Also, when we get a lot of rain, you know that the air humidity here inside the greenhouse can be higher than 90, 92, 93 percentation. So that's very high. And we saw also on other counters that the plants don't like it. And high air humidity is not funny for the plant because he is not able to evaporate. So now we are on the end of May. The spider mite is here. We can destroy him to spray and we can destroy him also with the macrolophus. But you know the macrolophus like them as a dessert, not as a head meal. So that's the big problem at the moment. So what I can do is to spray him and keep him under control. I must scout him every day. And when I can catch them under control, I have no problem for the rest of the season. The spider mite is absolutely the biggest problem in the tomato culture. For every other insect, we have insects to destroy it. But the spider mite you can only destroy by spraying or by taking the leaves away, that's also a possibility, and by the macrolophus. But the big problem is that on the underside of the leaves there are hairs and insects don't like hairs. So is, if there were no hair on the underside, it was easier to destroy him. But for now, we must do it by water or by another biological spraying system. So don't forget, if you find spider mite, scout every day, keep him under control, and if you have nothing to destroy him, spray him every day a little bit. He don't like water. Thank you very much. See you next time.